Hello, my friend. I want to first thank you if you have supported Positive Christianity this past year. We bring in the majority of our offerings this time of the year to support the next year. And we did it last year and it got us through. And we bless you and we thank you for your giving. 2020 has been a tough year for us all. It started back I believe in March for us when we started to receive prayer requests, but they were different. They were prayer requests of someone's uncle that had a cousin that had the virus. And then as the year proceeded, those prayer requests became closer to home. At first they were older Americans and people worldwide. And then we noticed that it was going younger, alarmingly younger, into teenagers and people that have lost their lives. At first we were keeping count, but over the course of the year we have not even been able to keep count. We know that at least 71 dear souls in our own ministry have lost their lives. Many of those I knew. It is just unbelievable. Positive Christianity has grown more this year than ever before because people literally are craving a positive daily message. Now, we haven't grown more financially because people are affected in huge ways, our readership, by the economy. Many have been laid off from their jobs, not to any fault of their own, but due to the virus. And I want you to realize as we talk about giving at this time of year that if you are out of work, please hear me on this. I do not want you to donate a penny. I want us to continue to give to you. Later on, later on, you'll be able to give something back, but not now. It is our time to give to you and keep you positively motivated. It is a time to give back if you can. You know, after the 2008 recession, the Great Recession, I said to our readers, if you can donate the price of a hamburger or even a Starbucks to us to do so, and then people would do so, and then they'd apologize. They'd say, you help us so much, we're sorry, it's not more. This is all we can afford to give. I'll tell you, those gifts combined with other gifts and they kept us afloat, kept us moving along. We're now in our 22nd year. So I ask you to do that again if you can. I'm giving this message to people that have not donated yet this year, but can afford to. And we need your gifts if you can afford to give. It is a time for us to move ahead and to realize that we are right now at the end of this long tunnel. There is light at the end of the tunnel. The vaccines are coming. They're on the trucks. And in this new year, it is truly going to be a new time. The economy is going to bounce back like a repressed spring. You're going to work again. You're going to feel safe to go out into society and to, and to again be close to people. What a sacred gift that's going to be, to be able to hug those that we care about and love. Well, I pray that we are able to help you on a daily basis and your friends and your family. And we will continue, I pray, for another 22 years that it will be, in the end, because of you. 
many people think that we're supported by large umbrellas of, of, uh, of different religious institutions. No, not at all, not one. We're independent. We are supported 100% by you. And so I ask you to prayerfully consider giving to us one time or, or a cumulative over the year on a reoccurring gift and really making a difference. I do believe we're really making a difference. Do you know we're going to every country on the earth into every language? We're not necessarily doing the translation. Others are. And we always say that we only have one copyright, and that is that you have the right to copy. That is true with our videos. It's true with our writings. And the bottom line is it's all from God. So if we can share and we can make a difference, that is what it is about. And it's what it's about individually, too, when you share and make a difference. God bless you for who you are and for what you're doing and for the difference that you are making in the world.